Hello, uh, this is Kyle Cutler. I'm a student at Oregon Institute of Technology. Um, this is my MATLAB demo for Engineering 267. Um, computer programming for engineers uh, with Dr. Mateo Aboy. Uh, this is summer 2015 term. Um, the assignment um, asked us to create a function to solve projectile motion um, with inputs of initial position, initial velocity, initial angle, and output horizontal range, location of the maximum height, maximum height, and display a plot showing the projectile's uh, trajectory, and uh, do this using a for loop to plot. I'm going to go ahead and bring my project here down. Um, command window down. So I did mine uh, as a golf ball representation because uh, I like golf a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up my function. Um, it asked me to input uh, the golf ball's trajectory. Um, let's go with um, you know, two iron, about 16 degrees. Um, initial velocity, let's just say 100. Um, initial starting height, we'll go zero this example. And it's going to actually plotting a uh, 3D plot of its trajectory. Um, here's its trajectory. Um, here is the point at, re at which it reaches its maximum height. Um, I did this all on a uh, distance versus time uh, versus height. Um, so give a representation of uh, all three in one graph here. I also have a line going down to the coordinates of the time and distance uh, coordinate here at the bottom as well. It's kind of what it looks like. Almost, I'm going to go over a little bit of my project here. Um, so right around here I have my inputs, um, desired angle, uh, initial velocity, initial starting height, constants for gravity, um, this is the mass of a golf ball, um, and down here is the, some more of the calculations involved with um, computing this. Um, this is my conversion from degrees to radians, um, this is my time and increment value, um, this is my horizontal and um, vertical component of the function. Um, these calculations right here are going to give me my maximum range, my maximum height. Um, this is my calculations for the time of flight. Um, this is the what I use to display the red dot at the top of my um, trajectory. And down here is my for loop. Um, so for when k over the length of my designated time, when the y value is greater than zero, plotting um, the function um, over the x, y, and z axis, it's just simple here, and this was to display the vertical um, line from the minimum and the maximum x, y coordinates and the time at which that occurred. Um, part of it was to display, as we spoke earlier, the max height, and we have that over here, uh, 38.73 uh, meters. Uh, the time it took to get there was 2.8 seconds. The ball traveled 540 meters. Um, it's a little high because the uh, actual initial velocity of a golf ball is more around 70. Um, unfortunately, uh, you get more data points with the other one. And uh, the time of flight, 5.61214 seconds. Uh, I'm going to do one more example here with a bit, little bit bigger uh, golf ball trajectory. We'll just do 45. Let's give it 200. Um, start it at 100. We'll see what happens here. A little bit slower this time around. Uh, 
I wish I could hit my golf ball this far. And there you go. Under those conditions, uh, here are all the parameters given again, and uh, this is my MATLAB project. I hope you liked it. Thank you.